say this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar right. to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 157 pounds. Big. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California. Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's gonna be interesting. And it's gonna be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's gonna be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's gonna be the one that's gonna control where this fight takes place? Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jet. Oh, big punch land. Went for the inside leg kick. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. 
over and over. He's landed these big body kicks. Can't take many of those. You better check. Relax, relax. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? He blocks the punch. And he landed the right hand there. Ooh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Lee. Nice leg kick land. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing, Muscle. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Oh, and there he goes, working off that jab again. How's your jab, DC? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Just misses with the jet. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Head kick blocked. Big kick lands. And both guys really throwing with authority. Nice kicks there by Lee. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Nice. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Oh, beautiful counter with the punch there, and certainly making good use of what is an obvious edge in reach. Oh, tags him with the left, so the right hand has been there, now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. Big kick. Seconds of round one. Slips the punch. Round two straight ahead. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body. He throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. Let me see. Deep breath. Breathe. Take a drink. All right, here we go. Listen, he's doing absolutely awesome. I want you to punch into those kicks a little bit better now. Set the You ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. So there it is, taller fighter landing a knee to the body. He loaded up there on that high kick. All 
right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Lee's kick, that one blocked. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Look at him drive his shin into the whole body with that body kick. Great punch, man. So much power. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Misses with the jab. He lands flush with that right hand. Oh, a huge block there. Three minutes now to go in round two. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Ooh. Fighter lands a knee yet again. Beautiful punch. Throws the right hand there. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Kick that at least partially landed. Oh my goodness, he got kicked in the head and he's still standing. Oh man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard, he kicks so hard every time you see him drive his shit into his opponent. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two? Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner and now he is taking control of this second round. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Come on, buddy, keep your hands up. Let's go. Oh, and he lands another knee there. DC, it doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Unable to land with that punch. to the head, blocked. Trying to establish that jab once again. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. There's no give on that leg kick. Missed with that attempt. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a beautiful strike like that knee with? We'll see very short. Nice straight punch. Lee's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. 15 seconds. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Now connects with a right. And that's the end of round number two. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that.
have the power to put this guy down, to show that nobody's knocked him down. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Hiking, hiking, hiking. Big Whoa! head kick. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking the damage of strikes up top. Punch over the top. Hit with a kick. Oh! He's a coach. He's hurt bad. Nice connection with a punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Oh, nice jab. Just over three minutes to go. Huge spinning kick! Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Got the single collar tie. Ooh, uppercut. Oh, he lands a straight punch there, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He has been throwing the strike over and over again. Look how crisp and straight he is. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Big punch land. Ooh. Hardy right, closes the distance, gets the single follow tie. Big body kick land. Pretty good kicks there by Lee. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, and he caught the kick. Back. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. That one is going to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> Strike right there. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to 
his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Big power shot there. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. So a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat. Both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fighting. Lee gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Oh, good sequence there. The right hand followed by the left. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact... Wow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. And isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Lee's right back to the full mount here. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Dig and kick. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Just over three minutes now to go. Slips the punch. All right, less than three minutes remain in round four. Oh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. You're all right, you're all right. Let's move now. Let's breathe and move. Ball left hook to the head. It's blocked. Nice kick. Gets up again here, but hurting. What a tricky head kick. Ooh, what a punch. Telegraph that spinning back fist. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot.
All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with the, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Lee gets caught with that punch. Nice head kick. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called to stop to this contest at four minutes, 15 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public 